Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Healthy Joints, Healthy Lifestyle Show. Today, I have some important information I want to share, especially with patients who are dealing with lupus of the skin. Um, so for those who don't know me, I'm the host of the show. My name is Dr. Arinola Dada, and I help people with autoimmune disease get their immune system back on track. So let's get to it. So for people that have lupus and just if you don't know, uh, lupus is an autoimmune disease where the immune system starts to affect the body. And the immune system, there's some confusion because the immune system is supposed to protect us from invaders, uh, both foreign and domestic. So foreign invaders are infections and domestic invaders are like cancer or cells. Um, but patients with lupus, the immune system has gone haywire and it can start to attack different parts of the body. And lupus is one of those more, I mean, I think people hear of lupus and it sounds very scary. Uh, but lupus can come in different forms. It can present just with skin manifestations, where it could even just be a skin rash on the face, so where it's called cutaneous lupus, um, or it can be kind of more um, systemic, where it can affect everything from, you know, the skin, the eyes, the brain, the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, you know, it goes on and on. Musculoskeletal can cause arthritis. Um, a lot of things can happen, just basically every, no organ is safe when we're dealing with systemic lupus. So a lot of times when you know, uh, people with lupus are seeing their physician. Uh, once the diagnosis has been confirmed, the big thing is one, yes, you want to treat the current condition, but you want to prevent it from getting worse because with lupus, there's a potential that it gets worse. So a recent study actually showed that people who have cutaneous lupus, so it could just be, you know, people with lupus are more prone to photosensitivity. That is that they're more prone to like rashes, skin rashes, skin lesions, or sometimes even their lupus can get triggered by exposure to the sun. So a new study has shown that people who have just cutaneous lupus, so that's lupus affecting the skin, would be better served, not just treating the skin lesions with steroids or treating the skin lesions with something called tacrolimus ointments, but actually be on a medication called hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine is a medication that we knew in the past and theoretically that it helps to prevent autoimmune disease from getting worse. But these recent studies showed that they were able to reduce the likelihood that people will develop a full-blown autoimmune, a full-blown lupus. So this is what they did. They had this study of about 286 people that had just skin lupus, and they divided them into two groups. Half of them got could got um, just the topical steroids, uh, and you know the tacrolimus ointments that I said, and the other half got hydroxychloroquine. And it showed that only 4% of the people in the hydroxychloroquine group developed full-blown lupus versus 30%. So hydroxychloroquine was able to reduce the risk of developing lupus in all people who were at risk for developing lupus by 87%. So this is really helpful when we're talking to patients and where patients want to understand, well, all I have is a skin rash. Can't you give me something just to apply to that area? The reason is that we can dramatically reduce your risk of developing lupus by 87%. This is a massive. So if you know anyone that has lupus or dealing with lupus, please like this video share it and hopefully this is helpful for patients as they understand their body's immune system and as we specifically make sure that we protect people and prevent them from developing a future autoimmune disease such as full-blown lupus when they've just been dealing with cutaneous lupus i hope this is helpful everybody have a wonderful day and you take care bye-bye